And the big question that everybody always asks me is, how do I get it on a streaming platform, i.e. Netflix? Okay, so let's say that you can't find a distributor that you like or you can't negotiate a fair distribution deal that you're satisfied with. And you've tried and tried and you're just super frustrated because all the distributors feel dishonest or they're ghosting you, whatever the case may be, or they're all offering terrible distribution deals. And I said, don't take a bad distribution deal. So what options are you left with? You're basically left with the option of doing it yourself, self-distribution. I like self-distribution and that is because I know how to do distribution because I spent most of my career doing it. So I'm a big advocate of self-distribution. But a lot of filmmakers don't want to self-distribute their films because they're artists. Distribution is all about the business side of the film business. It involves sales and marketing and some finance and all the stuff that in some cases turn a lot of filmmakers off. They just want to create films. They don't want to sell them. But you made a film and you got you got to figure out what to do with it now. Maybe if you don't want to do it, but you're forced to do it, find somebody who you know who might want to do it. Often I tell my students at San Diego State, if they don't want to be the distributor, walk over to the business school and find some sales and marketing reps who are learning how to do primarily marketing in the business school and maybe, you know, associate with them and create a team. And they're going to be excited about doing marketing and potentially sales, whereas you're excited about making the product. But let's say you want to do it yourself. You need to figure out how to get your movie into play. And the big question that everybody always asks me is, how do I get it on a streaming platform, i.e. Netflix? Now, I'm going to say, let's use Netflix as any major SVOD streaming platform. So whether it be Netflix or Hulu or Amazon or Disney Plus or Paramount Plus or whatever, Max, any of them. How do I get my movie onto a big streaming platform? Which is the dream of pretty well every filmmaker, certainly any indie, indie filmmaker, assuming that the deal's okay. Some of these platforms don't give great deals. But let's assume the deal is a good deal. They're paying the right amount of money and it's very prestigious to be on one of these platforms and you're gonna be in front of huge audiences worldwide. How do you do it? Here's the problem, here's the disconnect. These platforms do not wanna to talk to you, the independent filmmaker. You may have made the greatest film of all time. Unless you win the Palme d'Or in Cannes or the Audience Choice Award in the Toronto Film Festival or something of that caliber, you're not going to be able to get a meeting with the likes of a Netflix or, you know, any of these big streaming platforms. And it's not because your film isn't good. It's because they don't want to deal with individual filmmakers, one-offs. There's too many of them. It's too much work for them. It's just too overwhelming. They would need hundreds and hundreds, even though they have that, hundreds of programmers to meet with and talk to every filmmaker. What the big platforms have done is they have started using distributors and or in some cases aggregators and agents to filter out the films. And that's become basically the major job, the task of distributors, agents and aggregators. They're the first level of filtration to say, hey, we looked at this film, we think it's pretty good, you should have a look at it. So if you wanna get in the door at a big streaming platform, you're gonna have to go through either a distributor, an aggregator or an agent somebody who is connected directly to those platforms or maybe one step removed because the big platforms aren't going to speak to you. Again, it's not because you didn't make a great film. It's just they don't want to spend the time and effort to, to weed out all of this stuff. So they have forced the entire independent industry to go through these distribution channels, which in some ways it's almost like being hijacked if you're an independent filmmaker because you don't want to go through those channels, but that's what the streamers say. If you want to do business with us, you have to do it. Now, even the AVOD platforms, the platforms where your movie plays for free and you know generates advertising revenue, potentially Pluto or, or Tubi or some of those big platforms, even those platforms have said, you need to go through a third party to get weeded out which is an aggregator and or a distributor. So everybody wants an, a level of filtration. All of these streaming platforms want 
various levels of filtration, and that's why you're forced to go through it. But if you want to get to the big streaming platforms, you can't really bypass it. You need to go through standard distribution and or agents. I don't like it. I've been forced down that road. If you've seen some of my videos, I even sold to Netflix directly, but they still forced me twice to go through a distributor. For no reason, I had to pay big commissions just because they wanted to take delivery that way. So it's not a great system, but that's the way it is. Now, the other thing you got to be aware of is that the big platforms or a lot of the platforms, unfortunately, aren't even looking for indie films anymore. Remember, they're in the business of doing subscriptions, you know, for viewership. And their subscribers don't really demand indie films. They demand good films, but they're demanding sort of different types of series and higher level, higher budget, A-list actor films. So a lot of the streaming platforms aren't even looking anymore because they're making most of it themselves or they're only acquiring a certain caliber of content and indie films generally don't, um, you know, don't reach that caliber. I'm not saying you shouldn't try. You should always try. It's just be realistic about what your chances are. So this is why I say watch my other videos on self-distribution in terms of how to figure out who your audience is, how to target that audience, how to create awareness with them. And, and on how to deliver to them because you're going to have to get creative as a filmmaker these days in order to generate revenue for your film. And by the way, this is not an easy business. I've said it many, many times. I'll say it again. Making the film is the fun part. Selling it is everything. That's the tough part, selling it and marketing it. And that's why even Hollywood, when they make a film for, say, $100 million, they spend an additional $100 million on a marketing campaign to create awareness. Whereas an indie filmmaker just doesn't have that kind of money. Self-distribution, as much as I'm a big advocate of it, especially I'd rather do that than screwed in a really bad distribution deal. It's not that easy a road. It's not, it's not you know, for the faint of heart, um, you're going to be very challenged. <laughs>